One of the biggest issues you run into when it comes to retouching dark skin is going to be texture and wanting to make the texture even, right? And this image right here is a great example of that. Uh, I'm just going to turn on my Wacom because I don't have that turned on. Uh, okay, great. So this image is a great example of, um, you know, texture being um, uneven. And how do you even our texture? So I'm going to show you guys um, the before of this image because this is not like totally retouched but you know i've used my pro retouching pack by the way if you don't have that you definitely check it out all you have to do is run the pack and use your um your brush the soft white brush to just paint on the skin you know and it will just even out like the skin for you but how do you even out texture like i said um this is the before of this image this is the after you can see after we even out the skin we still have the texture here which is um you know quite uneven so you have these textures here that are kind of nice and flat but you have these ones on the nose that are a little bit you know um i'll say small and sharp right so how do you even out this texture now for me there are different ways to go about it the typical way i go about it is i have an action that i've created for that so if you have my um retouching essentials pack then you can just run the action i'll do that at the end but i'm going to show you a little way that you can go about it if you do not have my action pack when you do frequency separation, your images are divided into two frequencies, right? So right now, what I'm going to do is just create a stamp visible layer. And what we're going to do is create frequency separation. So I'll use my, um, I'll just use my basic frequency separation because I have that out for free. So if you um, need that, definitely check it out, you know. And I'll use a radius of 14 for that. So um, like I said, I have my action for free. You can go download this. So when you have your basic frequency separation you have your images split into layer you have your color layer which is this layer right here your low frequency right and you have your texture layer which is your high frequency the best way to go about this to reduce this texture is to command j right and then change this to normal and then hold the option or alternate key on your keyboard and merge this down so now we're working on this particular layer here right now what i typically tell people is if you have the advanced frequency where you already have this all you have to do is duplicate that one again and just do it this way okay so now we have this particular layer right here this is where you know most of our stuff is going to happen what you have to do is go to filter and then go to camera raw filter once you've gone into camera raw filter, you can see, you know, how it's supposed to look in here. You know, you can see your textures. Let me see if I can zoom this into 100% so you guys can see here textures. Go to effect where you have texture and clarity and then just dial your texture down and you can dial your clarity down, you know, just a, a little bit too, right? Nothing too crazy, right? And then click OK. So now that you clicked OK, you know, you have this thing, you know, it's it's quite like this, you know, it's uh, a lot. So what you need to do is invert that and then just paint over this with a soft white brush, right? Um, I'm going to take my flow up a little bit, then this, and then just paint over this with a soft white brush. So what it will do is that it will reduce how harsh, you know, like you have those... Um, let me show you the before and after that's the before that's the after you can always reduce your opacity you know to the level that you want it to be this is like the very easy way to go about it you know then just paint over your texture and then you know it just evens out the the whole texture and just makes everything a lot easier but typically this is like a very easy way to actually reduce the texture that you have on your face right now another thing that i typically do when it comes to reducing texture is just run my action so like i said if you have my um retouching essentials pack i have something there that is called soften reduce texture so if you just click on that what that does is that it runs a series of um plays in photoshop you know and um it will tell you to use the sharp mask for the most part just click okay you know especially when you have a headshot and then it takes you to this point where everything looks nice and soft and you can then invert this layer and just use a soft brush to paint over it you literally get almost the same effect as the other one but this is just a lot faster and you know just a lot easier and that way you have textures that just you know a little bit reduced 
um obviously sometimes you have to go in there and clean up you know the tiny ones that are there you can see all these tiny marks that are there you go in and clean them but for the most part it gives you a decent um level to to work at you know and it's almost the same as the previous one that we did you know um but it's just an action anyways um this is like a very good way to reduce texture on your subject's face um if you have too much textures because i know right now everybody's going for this whole look that has quite a, a lot of texture you know but i don't think that's like the best look for your images to look nice and professional you know a little amount of texture is great but when it's overly textured it just looks too much but anyways this is like a very good way to reduce texture on your skin i'll show you guys before and after um like i said both of them um are typically like will give you something close to um this you know both of them are very close and very similar there's just different technique from down and there's just an action so for the most part you can use any one that you like and then you're good anyways that's today's video if you haven't checked out my pro retouching pack check it out if you haven't checked out my retouching essentials pack check it out if you want to retouch like me put links in the description below check them out and i'll see you guys in the next video this is just a quick short and sweet video on how to reduce texture on your subject's face anyways thank you see you guys in the next video bye bye